Back to Bowser's Valley. I went ahead and shrunk my ZSNES window back to what is apparently the SNES's native resolution. It's 256 by 220, 224, which is really weird, and I've never heard of something having exactly that resolution before. So, it might still be 4-3 ratio, but it looks like that, just eyeballing it, but hopefully it won't be weird on YouTube. Let's just leave it at that. And it should be a lot smaller. It should be like twice the, well, half the size. Half the video size, anyway. And it's a playable, I guess. I just feel, ow. I feel dead and small. And that, that bat just flew right through the sand. He's supposed to sink. And wow, I could not do that again in a thousand years. Well, I probably could, but I couldn't do it again in like five minutes, probably. And I want... Ah, come on, I want what's in that thing. Well, for Pete's sake. Let's just go full on cheating. And it was a shroom. I don't know what else it would have been. I guess Peace Witch would be like the best thing it could possibly be. It's sort of an odd desire to go and you always gotta, well, I always want to get whatever box that looks special, but it's almost never anything particularly special. I mean, it can't really be anything else other than a peace witch, an item, or a life. I guess if this were Super Mario Bros. 3, it could be like a Tanuki suit or something. It's not. Um. There we go. Let me go. Oh, string board. That's how I get up there. Jump. Oh, well, I was, like, crouch jumping. Ow, I... I keep thinking they're gone when they're under the sand, but they're not. I guess they probably aren't gone when they go down the pipe either. You just can't come in contact with them. Which, that's actually pretty logical, so it's more weird to think they're gone when they're under the sand. But, can't get to me, Thwompy Dude. Or Thwimpy Dudes. Whoa. Not today. Shroom. Ha. Called it. Mostly just because the other ones weren't. This is like very, very dramatic music. I like it. I don't know why it's dramatic though. This is some sort of Mega Man music, I'm pretty sure. And it's, it's a lone Resnor. What the heck? That's cool. I don't... Oh. Oh no, that's... I think that was Final Fantasy music. But I... Stopped it with the P-Switch, like, right before I could... It sounded familiar, very familiar for a second there. Oh, and it's back to this music. For, like, one second. There's no final note. Okay, then. Pyramid time. Ancient pyramid. Beepy music. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I should stop trying to name the music. It's interesting, at least. And so is pain, and so is death, knows. 
I just never learn, do I? No, I do not. This music is just oddly beepy. Like, even for SNES stuff. Boink. Have I ever gotten all five? I'm sure I've gotten it like once or twice, but... I almost never get all of the stupid acorns. It just feels very weird that I usually have like three or four, but I never finish all of them. Let me up. Speaking of acorns, I'm not gonna get that one. Where are we going? Oh, there we go. Thought it was hanging there for a second. Hey, boo. You're not very scary, boo. In fact, you're, like, terrified of me, so you're a really terrible ghost, dude. I'm not sure why I call all the enemies dudes. I don't really say dude very much in normal conversation, but... Oh, dear. Huh. I can go pretty far in the sand. I thought for a second it was just going to kill me. And it's still weird that you don't... The punching isn't animated on the fence thingies. I guess those are just, these are like I don't know climbing walls or something. They just really look like fences, and I can't think of what else to call them. So they're fences. Oh, you can't trick a fire thingy, mostly because you can't do anything intentionally. So nothing you do could be defined as trickery. Boink. These don't... Yep, they don't give you anything. That sucks. I mean, none of the... Ooh. Let's see how long this lasts. Hint, not long. Come on, hurry up, you friggin' leaf thingy. And wow, that's a very odd stereo effect. Does it always do that? I'm probably only noticing it because I have my headphones on, but each other note was on a different stereo channel, which was a very odd effect. Speaking of stereo, I've been really thinking about picking up a set of binaural recording headphones. Binaural recordings basically record, it's basically microphones in your ears, and it gives a much, much more accurate depiction of, like, I don't know, the soundscape or whatever you want to call it. The, it gives a much better recording of what a human in place of the microphone would have actually experienced. And really, the microphone is getting the sound that you, that's actually there, but human hearing is a bit, there's a bit more processing and a bit more complicated but because of that, normal microphones sound sort of weird. It doesn't sound like you're actually there. But binaural recording fixes that for the most part. But I'm not sure if it actually sounds any better when it's replayed on something other than binaural headphones. And I don't even know if like a normal stereo... I'm not sure if it would end up as a normal stereo recording. I know the basics of binaural recordings, but I don't actually know much about the actual implementation from a design perspective, from a computer perspective, anyway. Come on. I really would like binaural stuff to replace, you know, what's common sound now. Because it, recordings really just sound a little off, unless you have... You know, proper studio equipment, but even then it's not quite perfect. It's not like really being there. But a binaural recording is much, much closer. Anyway, I just really like sensory stuff like that. Ow. So I'm an informatics major to improve interfaces and stuff like that. So everyone's, you know, experience with computers is much better experience with technology in general, but most everything is a computer of some sort. Most every 
complicated technology anymore. And some stupid people would have you think that's a bad thing, but those people suck. Don't listen to them. Ow. Those people make Mario die. And not like I make Mario die. When I make Mario die, it's, like, good. Mario likes that. He's a big S&M kind of guy. It's actually pretty disturbing. I'm going to stop talking. Oh. Yeah, you like that, don't you, Mario? You are one sick man, Mario. And I'm kind of embarrassed to be in your presence. And hurry up, you freaking thingy. Oh, we're done. Come on, dry bones. Point. Oh, I'm just going to jump on his head. And what's with the freaking like, lazy eye type waffle things? I'm not sure why they remind me of like lazy eye, but they just really do. Just going all slow. Did you get those boys some caffeine pills? Though caffeine doesn't actually pep you up quite like you think it does. Its biggest effect is eliminating caffeine withdrawal, which if you're addicted to caffeine, which if you drink coffee, you pretty much are addicted. Well, if you drink it with any regularity. Which is why I try not to at all. Well, I drink it somewhat, but I don't drink it regularly. I, why do the enemies look at you when they kill you? That's, like, mildly creepy slash annoying. And we're slowing down. It's bullet time. It's bullet bill time. Stop. Bullet bill time. Oh, I made it. Ice blocks, for some reason. Which really don't look like ice. Oh. Yep. For a s Whoa. You are- Ow. That- That is unpleasant. Cease the doing of that. Thank you. Those guys are going way faster. And by guys, I mean inanimate objects. Whoa. You chillax with that, buddy. Boink. Hey, the doors are, like, matched to the palette. That's nifty. Oh, it's one of those item eraser thingies. Red overalls and golden boots. Okay. What are the red overalls? We got the golden boots before. Those are the double jump thingies. Uh. Oh, it's a... I didn't realize that was a vine. Oh, it's... What does that do? Oh, it makes me die. Does it let me go in lava? Yes, it does. That's nifty. Oh, and it makes it makes the Yoshi uh, that sound effects in Yoshi's Island. I just like all the recalls to that. It's sort of weird that there are sound references to Yoshi's Island and the occasional background, but most of the stuff. Yeah, you already said that, didn't you? Anyway, the Super Mario World 2 references are sort of weird, because most of the game is SMB 2 and 1, and there's like almost no original Mario references, but, you know, I don't really mind that too much, honestly. Oh, right, Mava isn't death. I really don't care for seeing, you know, Super Mario World 1-1, and, I mean, Super Mario... Land one one in like every freaking thing in existence. I've seen some cool applications of it, but in a Mario hack, eh, I just don't want to see it. But I've seen some cool applications of it. Like I saw it made in a uh, Gary's mod for Half Life Two. So, oh, I'm dead. It's like I think it's on YouTube as like first person Mario or something. It's just going through NES Mario type stuff, except it's Half-Life 2, so you have a gun and you shoot head crabs. Oh, I didn't... Why couldn't I double jump there? What's in here? Shrooms. Delicious shrooms.